Assalamu alaikum and good morning students. Welcome to Forward Public School e-learning class. My name is Nazish Noor and I am your Pakistan studies teacher. In this class we will study the rest of the topics from chapter number 2. The name of the chapter is Making of Pakistan and this is part 5. This is our Pakistan studies book. Now let's start our today's chapter. Open page number 14. This is chapter number 2, Making of Pakistan. We have already completed some of the topics from chapter number 2. And now we will start the new one. Dear students, now come to page number 21. And the new topic is General Election 1945 to 1946. General Election means Am Intikhabat. 1945 and 1946 elections were held for the transfer of powers and the birth of two countries, India and Pakistan. This was the very first election in which Muslim League had won Muslim representative seats in central legislative elections. First I will read the passage and then I will explain it. Dear students, please hold your pencils in your hands and write down the meanings of difficult words. I am going to start the reading. After elections in Britain, the Indian Viceroy Lord we will announce election in India too. Elections to the Central Legislature were held in December 1945. Legislature means Kanun Saz ya lawmaking. They are talking about provincial assemblies election. Both major parties of India, the Congress and the Muslim League took active part in elections, but both adopted different stand on the freedom of subcontinent. The constitutional problems the Congress contested election on the slogan of United India while the slogan of Muslim League was Pakistan. Constitutional problems kehte hain Aini Masail. Slogan kehte hain Nara. During the election, Qaid Yazam and Muslim League addressed the Muslims and said that if they wanted to see the future of, Paki of Muslims safe, then they would vote to the Muslim League for Pakistan, otherwise they would could they would go into permanent slavery. Permanent kehte hain, mustakil, slavery, ghulami. Of the Congress. As a result of election, the Muslim League won all the seat, Muslim seats in the central legislature. In the cent central assembly, 30 seats out of 100 were specified for Muslims. All were won by the Muslim League. After this, in the beginning of 1946 elections for 11 provincial assemblies were held. 495 seats were reserved for the Muslims in provincial assemblies. The Muslim League won 439 seats. Therefore, Muslim League won 89% of the provincial assembly seat. Muslim League got majority in all the provinces except Khyber Pakhtunkhwa. Thus, the Congress nominated candidates for the Muslim seats were badly defeated. Defeated kehte hain shikast. In majority, constituencies, constituencies kehte hain halka bandia. Securities of the Congress Muslim candidates were forfeited. Forfeited kehte hain zabt karna. Now I am going to explain the whole passage to you. British mein election ke baad Lord Wavell ne India mein bhi election ka aylan kiya. December 1945 mein Central Legislature ke election munakkid huye. Congress in Muslim League ne elections mein hissa liya. Lekin dono ne pare sahir ki azadi aur aini masail par mukhtalif nazariyat ikhtihar kiye. Congress ne election United India ke slogan jab ke Muslim League ne Slogan of Pakistan se lada. 
इलेक्शन के दौरान मुस्लिम लीग ने बयान दिया कि अगर मुसलमान अपना फ्यूचर सेफ देखना चाहते हैं तो वो सिर्फ मुस्लिम लीग को वोट दें वरना वो हमेशा के लिए कांग्रेस की गुलामी में रह जाएंगे एज अ रिजल्ट सेंट्रल लेजिस्लेचर में मुस्लिम लीग तमाम मुस्लिम सीट्स जीत गया आउट ऑफ हंड्रेड थर्टी सीट्स मुसलमानों के लिए रिजर्व थी जो कि मुस्लिम लीग जीता इसके बाद इलेक्शन 1946 इलेवन प्रोविंशियल असेंबलीज में मुनद हुए प्रोविंशियल असेंबली में 495 सीट्स मुसलमानों के लिए रिजर्व थी मुस्लिम लीग ने 439 सीट्स जीत ली और इस तरह मुस्लिम लीग सिवाय खैबर पख्तनख्वा के तमाम सूबों में जीत गया द रीजन ऑफ फेलियर इन के पी के वॉज दैट इट वॉज हिंदूज मेजोरिटी प्रोविंस एट द टाइम ऑफ इलेक्शन नाइनटीन फोर्टी सिक्स कांग्रेस के नामजद रिप्रेजेंटेटिव बुरी तरह हार गए और बहुत से इंतबी हल्कों में कांग्रेस के मुस्लिम कैंडिडेट्स की सिक्योरिटी जब्त कर ली गई I'm going to read the last paragraph of this page. These elections were very important in the history of India. As a result, the Muslim League was a loser party in the election of 1937. India ki tarikh mein ye elections bahut ahmiyat rakhte hain. Muslim League jo 1937 ke elections mein haari hui thi became a successful one Muslim League jo ek haari hui party thi ab wo ek kamyab party ban gayi Dear students please open page number 22 These elections made the true the claim of Qaid-e-Azam from the last decade that the Muslim League is the only only representative party of Muslims These elections also prove that the only solution of the problems of India is to accept the demand for Pakistan. Consequently, the Congress leaders unwillingly accepted the demand of Muslims for the partition of India of India's and representative status of the Muslim League. Claim कहते हैं दावा करना, ticket कहते हैं ten years का जो period होता है. Consequently, as a result, partition allayed the. ये election का इतिहासम के दाव सच साबित कर गए कि Muslim League ही मुसलमानों की representative party है. इन elections ने ये भी साबित किया कि पाकिस्तान की demand accept करने के बजाय India के पास मसाइल का कोई हल नहीं. As a result. कांग्रेस लीडर्स ने ना चाहते हुए मुसलमानों की डिमांड और मुस्लिम लीग की रिप्रेजेंटेटिव स्टेटस को कबूल किया सो स्टूडेंट्स दीज वर द वेरी फर्स्ट इलेक्शंस वोन बाय मुस्लिम लीग इन 1946, व्हिच रियलाइज्ड द कांग्रेस दैट मुस्लिम लीग हैज द एबिलिटी टू गेट रिप्रेजेंटेटिव स्टेटस and the muslim hindu problems had the only solution which is the partition of india this is the end of part 5 reading and explanation and we will do the next part in our next class thank you and allah hafiz stay home stay safe